In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use a copy along vector tool so we can make copies of a vector along another set of vectors. So the first thing we need to do is go into the copy along vectors tool, which is under the offset and layout section of the drawing tab. So let's click into that and you'll see we're presented with a, a bunch of different options. Now the first option is to copy the object. So what we need to do is we need to select the object that we want to copy and then hold shift on the keyboard and left mouse click the object we want to copy along. That will then allow us to use other options in this form. So now you can see we can choose a distance between copies. So we can I've set one of two inches in this case. And I can also tell the software to force it to evenly space that vector along whichever vector I choose to copy along. So if I click copy, you can see what it looks like. And you can see it's got a two inch gap now between each of the stars. But there's also another option here to do a number of copies. Now, if I take the star and I select it and I then hold shift and select this vector with a bunch of different points, I can see nine points here. I can choose nine copies. And then what will happen is if I click copy, it'll copy it along that vector evenly spaced out on those points because we've got nine copies. Of course, we can increase the number of copies here. So if I do control Z and do 12, we get 12 copies. Or if I want to do simply seven, we can do seven copies. But you can see how it's quite a powerful tool because it allows you to copy a vector along other vectors and allows you to make these very intricate or interesting patterns using a set of vectors. Let's look at some of the other options in this form. You can see here now I've also got an option for copy circles. So what I can do here is if I select a vector and I can enter a value here. So let's say I want a diameter of 0.25 for my circles and I can set a distance if I want to or I can use a number of copies. I'll go for a distance for now and if I click copy you'll notice it's placement two inch interval so two inches spaced apart along that vector for the circles. Now, if I do a number of copies, again, I can do nine for each of the points on that vector and the circles will be placed on the points of that vector. Finally, we can actually align objects to a curve. So if we just control Z and we'll go back to our star and this time I'm gonna hold shift and click on the curve we've got here or the arc. So what we're gonna do is align that to the curve. So we'll Select that option and we'll make sure to turn our copy circles off and go to copy object again. And now what's going to happen is when we click copy, it's actually aligning the stars to the curve. You can see how the vector actually turns with the curve depending on where it is on the curve. You can see it's flat around here or in a typical star orientation. And then as it goes around the curve, it aligns it to that curve. Now if I turn it off and I'll show you the difference. So if I control Z that, and then I do it without the aligning, you'll see it's just straight. So the orientation is just a straight star along that curve. So this is quite a powerful tool because it allows you to align it to the curve. So if you have a pattern that needs to meet the curve and bend with it, you can do that. You also have an option here to create copies on a new layer. So what will happen here is currently we've got our layer for sign. Now if I choose to copy this to a new layer, what will happen is when I click this option, we'll get a brand new layer and we can rename that to curve. And now all of our stars will be on that new layer because they've been copied to that layer. Now there is a final option, which is to reverse the direction. So let's have a look at that. Let's just turn back on our original layer and make it active. And then we can select our star select our curve, choose reverse direction, hit copy, and now it's reversed it and it's gone from this direction to this direction. So again, I can illustrate the difference for you. So if I do control Z on the keyboard and then select the star, select the arc or the curve, and then hit copy without the reverse direction on, it goes from left to right. If I do control Z, hit reverse direction, it goes from right to left. And that covers how to use the copy along vectors tool.